artificial nesting islands can replace a loon nest lost to development, or offer an island on a lake where none exists. Loons naturally prefer islands, which make nests far less vulnerable to shoreline scavengers. Loons walk poorly, so they build their nests at water's edge, where eggs are at risk to water level fluctuations. Tethered loosely to the lake bottom, the raft floats, making it nearly immune to rising water levels, and virtually eliminating the threat of flooding, whether from heavy rains or a clogged lake outlet. Basking on the edge of the raft, this painted turtle is urged, in no uncertain terms, to move along. Placement is crucial. Knowing how the lake is used by people is important. Installing the raft in April, only to find in May that the chosen site is a fishing hotspot, won't do the loons any favors. A little concealment can be a good thing, but most loons like to see what's going on in their territory at all times. Once the chicks hatch, the loons generally leave the raft for good, within a day or two. This father offers his chick a built-in refuge. Wing brooding provides protection from the cold and from predators. Performing a final housekeeping task, this mother loon boards the raft one last time to remove and sink a discarded eggshell. In addition to sharing nest tending duties, both loon parents feed and care for their chicks throughout the summer. Because this lake has an artificial nesting island and a loon ranger to put it out each year, these loons have a second chance. <laughs>